So everyone in this room, part of their childhood involves sports, whether that be part of a little old team or sitting in the living room watching football, basketball, whatever sport it may be with your family. For me, it was soccer. I was excited when I had to be a water girl for my cousins and siblings or carry their cleats for them to play soccer. So doing that every Saturday got me really excited and I told myself that when I get the chance, I would get to play soccer. Where I grew up, we didn't have a little league team, so I really had to wait. But while waiting, I played soccer every chance that I got during recess in our backyard. I fell in love with holding a soccer ball and I told myself that one day I will get to play. Fortunately enough for me, I moved to the United States. A few years later, in the seventh grade, I started my career as a soccer player. It made the little child in me really happy to be able to play against other people, play with people, and overall just achieve my dream of playing the sport that I had watched my siblings grow playing. It was really exciting for me. But sport was not the only part of my childhood. In my culture, and especially in my family, academics is a very important part. No matter what you do in life, you have to attain a high school diploma, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or doctorate. Whatever it may be, you have to get a higher education. So when I finished playing soccer in middle school and I entered high school, I had to be a student athlete. When I got to high school, I met a coach that thought my running on the soccer field would transfer good on the track, and he was quite right. So when I started my student athlete journey, I was not only a soccer player, but I was a track runner as well. So for four years of high school, I strived my best to excel in both my sports as well as my academics, and I can say it was quite a success. For soccer, I got to play with an amazing team who weren't exactly the best, but the little child in me was happy every time I get to play for the entire 45 minutes of the half. I was able to travel to Russia and Barcelona to play against people who literally grow up playing that sport and are probably professionals by now. But to me, all I wanted to do was play a sport that I had loved watching my siblings play when growing up. Same thing for track. I knew nothing about track. My coach came to me, he was like, do you run? And I was like, of course. I run in the soccer field to score goals. Why wouldn't I run? And he was like, you run track? And I was like, no. So I find myself being a track athlete, gaining a lot of awards, and meeting a lot of people that I didn't know I would get to meet. So it was really exciting. But as I succeeded as a soccer player and a track athlete, so did I as a student. I was a 4.0 student all through high school, except one time my senior year where I felt like it didn't matter. But I got humbled real quick. But in my four years of high school, I excelled as an athlete and as a student. But while in high school, a lot of my counselors told me the same won't apply in college. And I brushed it off because if I'm able to be not only a soccer player, but a track runner as well, and excel in my academics, college has nothing on me. And when I came into my first year of college, everything was smooth. It was easier for me to go to practice in the morning, find a quiet corner later, and go to class. I did that for a whole sem two semesters in a row, and it was really exciting, and I was like, my constantly stressed me out for nothing. But I got humbled again my sophomore year when things got getting hard. I decided to run just track and focus on my academics because things got, began getting hard to balance. But it was in my sophomore year that I started to develop athlete student traits. I prioritized my attendance at practice and my performance on the track more than I did my academics. I would go to practice in the morning and be so tired in the evening that I won't get to do my homework. It was really challenging for me because I felt like I was letting my family down, attending a sport that was very overwhelming. But the irony of the story is now I'm just a student. When push came to shove, I picked one over the other. But that's not to diminish my success as a student athlete in high school and even here at Marymount. I was fortunate enough to win my conference championship with my girls team last summer, and it's a great accomplishment of mine that I will cherish forever. But I share this story today to say, you don't have to prioritize being a student athlete over an athlete student. You can excel in both, and I'm an example of that. Thank you.